All right, today I'm going to show you how we go through the exercises and how they're presented in the new knee rehab course to give you an idea. Now I'm going to use the physio lunge as the exercise example and then show you how we go through levels, progressions and adding load and things like that. So we always start with the base exercise. So for this one, it's the physio lunge. So you'll start off with the main exercise and that's what we go through. So we'd go through a physio lunge. Now, the instructions, the cueing, all that sort of thing, I'm gonna go through with you and how to do it, where to place your feet, how to teach the client what they should be feeling, that sort of thing. Now, when we come to the levels and progressions, what you'll see is the main exercise up here. And then as we progress through the levels, you'll see different symbols next to each exercise. So if you have an R, symbol, that means the regression version. Now that would be for the physio lunge, a regression version in this case would be we're trying to maybe not let the knee go so far forward. So this would be for patellofemoral pain or people with pain post-surgery where they go into the physio lunge, the knee travels forward naturally but it hurts so we regress it by letting that knee come back and then working out how we're going to do the lunge without the knee going forward. So that could be the regression one. Then we may add in a stability exercise and you'll see an S next for stability. Now that's where in this exercise, the stability part is using a lateral band. Now some may say, well that's load. Yes, it sort of is. But in this exercise, we're trying to work on your knee stability, okay? So it's in a stability section because the load section is coming later. So for the physio lunge with stability, we use a lateral band to try and make the knee go this way. You fight that. We teach you how and teach your clients how to work on doing that exercise into this position here for the stability section. With the load part, that's when you go straight into the weight. So the progression would be a normal then a stability or regression if you need to, and then into a load. You don't start the load until you've done the stability. So the load would be simple adding weight, and that's when you go into your weighted physio lunge. Okay, this is going into the position here. So we're now adding load down onto the knee, and we want to make sure that that's happened after the stability. Now, you'll also see something called an A. The A is an alternative to the exercise prior. So if it was a load exercise, which you had the weights and you're looking at an alternative, that's where, say, in the physio lunge, you use a band as an alternative load, okay? So that's where you'd come in with this one and use a band. And this is really good for people who are missing a bit of equipment, you know? So you're coming into this position here, so there's your load, all right? So it's an alternative to, say, if people don't have weights at home, they go into a loaded band physio lunge like that, okay? Now, the good thing about this is it can also be for people who are a little bit sore or they're, not, they're just, they're trying to get into weights but they need that alternative to try and bridge that gap between the weight because in this exercise, the band is really light at this point, okay? So when I push up, then it's as heavy as perhaps the weights, okay? So that band needs to be the right amount for the load. The C one is combination. Now, once you get past, say, the weights and the stability and the band load, you can start getting a little bit adventurous and start combining it. And this is where we start teaching practitioners to think outside the box a little bit and try and go, okay, you've got stability, you've got load. How can I combine that to make not a new exercise, but a progressed exercise? And that's once you've ticked all those boxes, you can start with thinking about, well, how do I get those ones together to make a combination exercise to advance that person down the track. So that's an example of the physio lunge, which is one of the exercises in the patterns of movement section module on the knee rehab course. There are lots of other modules and some of them on mobility will use different symbols like F for foam roller, T for trigger point ball, a P for progression, and of course there'll be alternatives just like the rehab exercises for people with different equipment and needing different things. So to check out the rest of the course, click on links below, register, and I'll see you then.